a little bit in the back of the throat. <coughs> we got the sweat. <coughs> Whew. And that's sending, sending the signal directly to my brain to convince my brain that it's hot. Today, you're gonna see me eat this corn chip. This is considered to be one of the hottest in the entire world. The two chilies used to make it up on the notorious Carolina Reaper and the Trinidad Scorpion. So why am I doing this? Well, first of all, because I really like chili. Secondly, you can see this as a sort of scientific experiment uh, because I'm interested in the science of chili. More specifically, the science of the active ingredient which makes them hot and spicy. This is called capsaicin, and it turns out it has some very interesting health benefits. The heat contained within chilies is measured using something called the Scoville scale. Just so that you guys can get a rough idea of what we're looking at here, bell peppers contain basically zero capsaicin, therefore they're rated zero. Moving up slightly, the jalapeno provides a modest 3,000 to 8,000 units. Habanero, on the other hand, known to be a fairly hot pepper, is anywhere between 100 and 350,000 units. That's pretty spicy. However, the two chilies used to make this bad boy can measure up to a whopping 2.2 million Scoville units. This means that these guys are extremely powerful. Now, if you're someone who's eaten chili, you will be well familiar with the sensation of pain and burning on the tip of the tongue in the back of the mouth, okay? It feels real. But here's the thing, it's actually an illusion. Eating chili doesn't cause heat burns or chemical burns, even though it feels like it does. It's the active ingredient capsaicin, which activates pain receptors, and this propagates a signal up through the sensory neurons to the central nervous system. So the brain is essentially getting signals of pain and burning, even though it's not actually occurring, and the brain can't distinguish whether it's true or not. Now, paradoxically, it's because of this that capsaicin may actually be able to provide pain relief. Scientists have shown that with prolonged exposure, this can desensitize the pain receptors, therefore reducing chronic pain elsewhere in the body. In fact, as a cream, capsaicin has been applied topically for arthritis, neuropathy, and injuries of the joints and muscles. Part of the physiological reaction to chili is to produce endorphins, and these are the main form of natural pain relief used by the body. This might also help us to understand why some people, including myself, experience a mild euphoria when eating hot peppers. So aside from the obvious sensation of pain and burning in the mouth, you might also recall feeling a little bit hot and sweaty after eating spicy foods. This is at least in part because the nervous system is sensing those messages as an increase in heat and body temperature. To counteract this, it activates a bunch of different mechanisms to allow the body to expel excess heat. One of these is through sweating. Another one is to increase blood flow to the surface of the skin. Capsaicin has been studied extensively for its positive effects on the blood vessels and on the cardiovascular system. One of the main ways in which it exerts this positive benefit is through enhancing the release of a molecule called nitric oxide. This is the body's main vasodilator and helps blood travel through the blood vessels. In fact, it's been studied in a variety of cardiometabolic conditions and it was recently found in a review that chili consumption was negatively associated with all-cause mortality, type 2 diabetes, obesity, and other cardiovascular diseases. But chili making you feel hot is not just an illusion. It turns out it does actually increase body heat production. It's this increase in body heat that is thought to be one of the main mechanisms by which animal experiments have shown real improvements in obesity and weight loss. Capsaicin has been shown to help convert white adipose tissue into brown adipose tissue, the latter of which has been shown to essentially melt away fat cells through converting them or burning them as heat. And if that wasn't enough, it's also being studied for a variety of different brain-based conditions, improving blood flow to the brain, and also reducing systemic inflammatory diseases. And so overall, I think it's a really cool molecule with some very interesting potential health benefits. But let's just get started with this thing. I am going to give it a test run. Um, for what it's worth, I am not an affiliate with this company, okay? I have no financial ties with them whatsoever. It's just the only one that I could find in Europe. Um, just so that you can see, this is a full package. I've not tampered with it. I've not opened it. Uh, I'm not faking this in any way. 
So you see me opening it, okay? Here is the chip. And here's what it looks like. Uh, it even comes with a, with a glove that you can use to pick it up, although I haven't done that. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Hmm. It's all right. It's um, tasty. It's not got that much flavor to it, honestly. Um, yeah, not much so far. Okay, <clears throat> okay, okay. Heat's uh, heat's coming. Heat's coming. Yeah. Okay. So, so I can, f I can feel, I can feel it on the tip of my tongue. Um, a little bit, a little bit, the back of the throat, <coughs> a little bit, the back of the throat. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, it's strong. It's uh okay. So pain rating probably seven, seven at the moment. I've got the the pain, quite severe pain on the. Let's get this stuff off. I don't want to be wiping my face with my fingers. So the severe pain all over the front of the tongue, towards the back of the mouth, the eyes. Uh, we got the sweats. <coughs> Bear in mind, I have a pretty high tolerance for chili as well. So I'm that guy that usually gets like a vindaloo or super hot curry. I spent like a year in India 10 years ago. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Mate. <coughs> Jesus Christ, this is f***ing hot. Sorry, pardon my language. Oh. Yeah, um, the good thing is, is that although it feels extremely painful right now, it's useful knowing that it's not actually burning the mouth. There's no physical damage being done to the tongue, to the mucosa but the issue is is operating on a chemical level it's activating the trp1 v <coughs> receptor and that's sending sending the signal directly to my brain to convince my brain that it's hot although i am sweating i've gone a little bit lightheaded i don't know whether that's because I'm breathing a bit heavier, or whether this is the the endorphins kicking in with like a a mild sense of euphoria. Uh, shit. I mean, it's pleasurable at the same time, right? So, for all the pain and the heat, I kind of like it. I kind of like it, and that's why I keep put, putting myself through this. This kind of thing. There's a certain level of, like, was it masochism that I think goes into it? People who like to expose themselves to extremely hot spices. Um, <coughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. So I've got some water. I'm trying my best not to. Not to eat any, drink any, sorry. Sorry, I'm a little bit. This thing has knocked me a bit, a bit sideways. Yeah, guys, this guy is freaking hot. Okay, Carolina Reaper, Trinidad Scorpion, both 
sitting somewhere between 1.6, 2.2 million Schofield rating. It's hot. It's really hot. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a glass of water. Okay. Uh, <sighs> whew. Okay. Yeah, um, it's starting to calm down. I mean, it's manageable, right? It's still there, but it's manageable. Yeah, uh, look, that was intense. I don't really know what else to say. Uh, <laughs> Capsaicin has some awesome properties. Uh, I think it's addictive for some people. I think it's addictive for me. Even though it causes like lots of pain and mild suffering, uh, there's also there's some euphoria that goes with it, and it feels pretty good. Um, yeah, look if you if you like this video, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, share it if you're interested. Sh share it with anyone who's interested in the science of chili. It's pretty cool stuff. Okay, I'm checking out. See you guys. Peace out. Next time.